Hey all, welcome to ShareTrek. This is Raj here and uh, today in this video I want to talk to you about Bluebird Bio. Uh, and Bluebird Bio has seen a steady raise in its stock price but uh, post market today we saw a 3% decline in share price. In this video I want to look into the reasons and uh, just give you an update on what exactly is happening with Bluebird Bio so that when you start the market tomorrow uh, you're not surprised. But before we start, uh, please subscribe and uh, press the notify button if you have not already done so. And also if you like a video, please press the like button out there. It may not mean much to you, but it means a lot to the channel because then YouTube will show this video to other people like yourself who are interested in videos like these. And with that said, let's get started. <music> Welcome back friends. News is that Bluebird Bio has filed mixed shelf uh, offering. A mixed shelf has to do with the registration of securities with SEC. When a company does a shelf registration, they are registering securities to issue at some future uh, date, undetermined date, as needed from time to time, saving them from having to update the registration statements every time there is an issuance of securities covered by the registration. A mixed shelf is the shelf registration of different types of securities such as a mixture of debt and equity. Uh, one could do mixed shelf of common stock, preferred stock and convertible debt securities uh, up to an amount specified in the registration. In the case of Bluebird Bio, the value of the mixed shelf uh, is uh, around $350 million and consists of the following uh, categories, common stock, preferred stock, debt securities and warrants. Uh, here is the actual filing I'm going to show it to you on the screen. As you can see here, this is the mixed shelf uh, filing for Bluebird Bio with the Securities Exchange Commission. And um, here they have given the type of uh, shares that they are planning to issue. Common stock, preferred stocks, warrants, units, uh, debt securities. And um, there's a whole lot of uh, detail out here. But uh, this is just uh, to be ready so that as and when they need uh, funding, they can use one of the methods um, shown in this uh, filing uh, in order to raise uh, capital. So that's what it's all about. On receiving this news, the share traded down 3.6% uh, in the after hours trading and fell from $4.90 at the close of trading uh, to $4.75. And that's the reason I thought that I should make this video and bring it to you. Let me quickly show you the price chart and then move into the reasons for the drop in price. Here we are in the TradingView platform looking at the chart for Bluebird Bio. I'm just going to expand this so that we can see a larger candles. Each of these candles is a one day candle. This is the close up perspective and if we zoom out, we can see that we have fallen significantly as far as Bluebird is concerned. We fell from a high of around 153.3 to imagine those who must have bought 100 shares at 153.32, how upset they might be uh, to look at uh, the share being where it is. On 9th of March 2018, they were quoting at 153.32 per share. Since then, the share has fallen significantly. And coming to um, 31st of May 22, that's when it first registered its low. And then it picked up again and then it came down uh, somewhere on 12th of April. It turned around and it started moving up. And here we are at this point of time, having completed the uh, gap down. The gap down has been covered and uh, today saw a huge uh, jump. When I say today, I mean 9th of uh, May 2023. And uh, this line of support continues to remain for us. But what has happened is post-market, um, Bluebird Bio fell uh, around uh, 3% and it ended at 4.70. So that's where it was uh, at the end, which means it will put it somewhere around here. Still, uh, it's going to be above, way above the diagonal line of support, the bullish line of support. But we also are seeing that RSI has come to a um, overheated position and therefore there needs to be some consolidation. MACD is still bullish. And we also had really good uh, uh, revenue earnings, sorry, really good earnings from Bluebird, uh, where they topped their earnings by 156.80%. Uh, it was estimated they would have a loss of uh, 37 cents per share. They reported a gain of uh, 21 cents per share. So that's a very big positive that has been pushing up the share price. And uh, at the same time, their revenue disappointed. They came below 
by 63.51%. Uh, I would like to read through their um, earnings re release and understand why this fall is there, because I am suspecting that probably this 63.51 could be unrecognized revenue, which are part of the 80% that they will have to pay back in case anybody uh, had a relapse within two years of treatment. So that's what I'm thinking. I would like to check that out. Honestly, I haven't had the time to check it out. I'll come back to you with the video later on. But the fact that they have a positive momentum out here has given them the, emboldened them to come back with a, a news release. And the news release basically says uh, that they have uh, done a mixed shelf filing of up to 350 million. So as soon as the market heard this, uh, the market dropped the share price by three percentage points. And I think that when people sit back and think carefully, uh, they would reverse their opinion and the share should bounce back again. Because, friends, uh, as, we, as we already know, Bluebird Bio has already got uh, Zinteglo and SkySona monetized, and it has already got patients enrolled. It has got uh, training centers in place, uh, where uh, sorry, uh, treatment centers in place where they are uh, processing the uh, patients. They have tie-ups with uh, payees uh, to fund these uh, uh, these therapies, and lower cell also BLA uh, submission is complete, and I think uh, they are going to be in a position to get uh, approval from FDA by the end of the year. Uh, the only um, concern for uh, Bluebird was that they may exhaust their uh, cash runway. But looking at the fact that they have come up with a positive uh, earnings in this quarter, the EPS is positive, that makes me feel much more optimistic about Bluebird. And it makes logical sense for a company like Bluebird, which potentially doesn't want to be taken over and wants to continue as a, its own entity. Uh, to have uh, access to some funds somewhere or the other. I'm really glad that they didn't just um, ask for the money and um, issue shares, but uh, they have just taken the uh, mixed shelf filing uh, with the SEC and kept it ready so that at short notice they can uh, raise financing. And we still don't know whether uh, equity shares is the way they are going to go or they are going to offer uh, preferred de debt instruments or warranties. We don't know the nature of funding they are going to do because it's a mixed shelf filing. So I think uh, we got to give benefit of doubt to Bluebird. Uh, they have done the prudent thing uh, in terms of uh, having a source of fund lined up uh, and they have not yet taken the funds. So we should breathe easy. I think uh, Bluebird Bio is going to continue on its uh, way up. And uh, for that matter, we have um, a price re revision uh, by one of uh, the leading uh, analysts that covers uh, this particular um, uh, area. And it is Wedbush. And they have uh, re revised uh, the price target for Bluebird Bio from uh, $5 previously to $7. So that's a positive. And um, also, I would like to talk a little bit about uh, shelf registration or shelf offering uh, so that uh, many of our viewers uh, would get an understanding of what it is, because any of our other companies may also happen to do the same thing. So shelf uh, registration or shelf offering is the process of pre-registering securities with the US Security Exchange Commission in order to issue them to the public in the future. It gives the security issuing company liberty to make multiple public offerings uh, using the same registration without having a separate prospectus each time uh, that they make the offering. As we know, Bluebird has a tight cash runway and also has two approved uh, therapies that are being monetized and is awaiting the approval of uh, lower cell. It was logical to expect some sort of arrangement to raise funds given that the company uh, is not up for sale. Uh, though there is uh, equity dilution, there is also the uh, raising monetization of three therapies uh, that are big ticket items with the intellectual property in hand and a long patent regime uh, for these three therapies the equity dilution will be digested in due course i don't think bluebird will issue equity right away uh, earlier today wedbush uh, revised its target price for uh, bluebird upward uh, to dollar 7 from dollar 5 while maintaining a neutral uh, rating so friends that, that's the story about uh, bluebird bio so uh, tomorrow morning when you uh, get into the market and if you see bluebird um, uh, stock going down a little bit. This is the reason why it might go. But overall, I'm thinking that the market participants will realize that this is a good thing, in fact. So there is no uncertainty hanging over the head of Bluebird Bio. There will be a appro approximate pricing uh, of the dilution, potential dilution. And uh, we'll continue our march upwards on the bull channel. That is my prediction. Of course, this is my personal opinion and not financial advice. So please do your own due diligence.
with that said my friends i'd like to bring this video to an end please like share and subscribe and help grow this channel bye for now